my favorite map Breeze is back into the pool. And it's horrible. Welcome to Lotus Lab. Guys, I already made one video about the changes for Breeze um, from the screenshots. And as always, the opinions can change. And um, unfortunately, Breeze is gonna be feeling like way, way, way worse for us, the gamers that liked it before. Because what I really liked about Breeze is the fact that you were able to play this game without much mobility. You were able to get into duels, in long range duels, you were able to like put pressure from different sides of the map to make sure that the defenders don't have an easy place to just sit and wait for the attackers to attack the site, right? And unfortunately, that changed. Majority of the changes that really, like, upset me is the A site. Because in the past, when we were thinking about Breeze, right, you were able to attack the, the A site on Breeze from three different ways. You were able to play from A shop, A cave, um, holes and also midwood doors. That's actually four, four different places, right? But two of them were combining into one, which is shop and cave. Right now, you're only able to go through shop and midwood doors, which essentially makes it very similar to ascent, to split, to bind, and other maps that only have two entrances, which shifts the favor towards the defenders. But not only that, let's let's talk a little bit about the changes that are on A. Let's start with the shop and the cave. So, from the perspective of the defender, when I'm playing on the A side, when I was holding the A side, when the barrier drops, I had to worry about the cave, right? Where now is the wall? And so I don't have to worry about the cave anymore because no one can be in this spot and no one can actually make additional pressure from those angles of an operator, a marshal, or anything. So the only thing that I have to worry about is opponents coming from this one spot. That's the only way of the attackers from A main, like, doing any pressure. They have to swing from this corner, right, to go through the choke point. Essentially, A main on, on Breeze just became B ascent main, but without the windows. And because of that, it's going to be incredibly hard to go through. But not only that, not only it became B main and Ascent, it became even more defensive sided than Ascent. Because what you can do is you can just put a one way on, on top of this box here, on the edge of it, like this. And when you're standing here, you can just hold this and not a single attacker is going to see you. Imagine, like you don't see anything. You have to peek. This is the box here. You have to peek through. You're already visible. You don't see anything. So the only way of attacking through this is countering it with your own smoke, like an attacking smoke like this. So that's how you have to like attack A main right now if the defenders, of course, are going to be abusing the one-way smoke. Right? So attacking the A main is going to be incredibly difficult because it's all shoved from one angle that is going to be happening here, where the defenders don't have to worry about holes anymore. So not only, the, like, I'm, I'm going a little bit of ahead, but why do I think this is actually now a huge change? Because not only this def de becomes easier to defend, but also the focus towards it is easier. Because as a defender right now, five seconds pass at the beginning of the round, I'm opening the doors, I can stand on stairs, but I can also stand in here while being fully covered and I never have to worry about a player coming from holes because this is impenetrable. You cannot use any mobility, any kind of TPs, any kind of like... Well, you can't do anything apart from throwing flashes and mollies through it, but then you have to sacrifice a player standing here doing nothing because this player would have to rotate through shoot or go back to shop, which is a waste of time. So not a single attacker is going to go here to make pressure because it's pointless. And not a single defender is going to sacrifice his position to hold this as before because there's no point in being on the other side. There's also no point in putting a trap here anymore because no one is going to go here unless they're already on site. 
so the trap from the chamber can now be used on reinforcing doors or a main or like the cypher or like killjoy whatever killjoy don't play killjoy on breeze but actually maybe you can now who knows still pretty shitty with the with the range but yeah but what what, what would you play killjoy if you can play cypher or, or chamber on this map point is there's no reason to hold holes or to attack holes so this area over here in this part of the map just became premium for the defenders because not only you can hold a main but you can also affect the other entrance to the side which is through mid towards ramp or whatever that doors or, or ramp so you have to go through here right so essentially defenders not only became like incredibly efficient at holding a main they are incredibly efficient at holding a main from different angles got boosted because of the utility that they can they don't have to sacrifice on holes anymore and they have an ability to hold crossfire on mid which essentially means that attacking a side is incredibly difficult because if you do the viper wall that you're always doing right you still have to go through the incredible choke point over here. And you can never do pressure from holes. So if you guys were playing a lot of Breeze, if you were typically standing here, you had a problem when the Vi Viper was, uh, was active and people were attacking holes. You were like put into like a rock and a hard place because you had to worry about here. You had to worry about here. You had to worry about here. Right now, if your job is holding a main... That's the only thing you focus, and the other player holding A is helping you with the doors. And if you have three players on A, well, then it's even easier, right? So, A main just became incredibly tedious to attack and incredibly difficult to attack. And this direction of changes towards the maps is happening right now also with the new map, with the sunset. We're going to make a new video about that as well. But in general, it feels like the map design is being changed in the wrong direction. We're, we're getting more choke points when we need less choke points. So we're nerfing utility, but we need more utility because there are more choke points. So mobility is premium, but we nerf the mobility on the most broken agent, which is fair, but the map design is currently pushing for more maps, sorry, for more agents that are like based about their mobility. So to go through choke points, you need the jet, you need the race, you need the, well, to some degree, Yoru, but let's not get into that. So jet and race are still premium, and they are going to become premium on maps like Breeze right now. Because of those aspects, that just, I, as I just explained, because you're not relying anymore on the long range duels from cave. You cannot long range duels from uh, long do long range duels from mid because mid doesn't have any more long range duels. And you're going. And I'll be honest with you, I don't know how exactly to analyze mid yet because it's such a weird place when it comes to the way that you can play this this area. It can be beneficial both for attackers and defenders, just depending on the efficiency of the of the defenders, I guess or the attackers like it's it's so weird and by the way if you're standing here make sure to crouch because yoru is visible when standing like you can see top of his head when you're standing nest cypher as well sage as well neon as well jet as well I'm not sure about the other agents so make sure you crouch here before jumping up you know because otherwise they're gonna be alerted that you are here behind the wall before you jump up now the thing is with mid there's another 50, not another, there's a 50-50 angle being created by making this cubby and adding this wall. So players, defenders can play like with two agents with mobility or chamber, like being in the cubby, one player being on the ramp, and they can play off contact. If someone checks cubby from the top of the wall, this guy gets an easy kill. So you can stand like this, right? One player stands here, looks at the top of the wall, like here, and the other player stands here, looks at the bottom here, and you have a perfect crossfire because this guy helps this guy and this guy helps this guy. And if this guy is a chamber, he can TP to elbow. And if there's another player that is holding elbow, well, then you have everything covered as a defender. Essentially, you have three players controlling the entire mid. A main is almost impenetrable to go through if you have one waster, right? And then B main is still the same choke point. So... That's going to be very, very 
let's say, difficult task for the attackers to go through. And right now, I feel like there's going to be a sh huge shift towards attacking B-side because it became an easier target of attacking. It's because even there's a choke point here that kind of requires mobility, but it's easier a little bit to attack because of the changes of the walls. Right now, this wall is no longer a premium for the defenders because you cannot just like hold it from different angles. This wall was like this before, right? So you were able to like hold it from here without being fully exposed. Now you're fully exposed. If you're standing here, you're easily wall bangable when you drop down because you don't change your position much. Uh, one molly clears most of this area, so you have to go out of the wall. And you're not able to reposition that fast from this here area towards side because there are no longer like stairs existing here, right? In the place of the box, there, was, there were the stairs. So you can't really just... Just go like this and reposition. If you're standing on this on this side of the map, you can jump on the box and be here and like try to kill people. So this is gonna be one of those like possibilities for you. But in general, attacking B became way easier just because of this change. So uh I don't know, man. Like I love Breeze. I love the way that you could play like with such a different um uh, like plan than any other maps. Like Hall's control was such a big aspect of holding the map. You were able to create pressure as a lurker because of holes, because of open mid, because of the fact that players from A are have their like mind being focused on different ways of play uh, of holding the, the site. And right now all of that is being changed and simplified. So the game becomes more choke points uh, orientated which is a problem in my mind so i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you think do you think that breeze is gonna be better or worse for you for the people that didn't like breeze you're probably gonna like it more but then you're gonna realize it's a tedious map to play and for the people who like breeze they're probably not gonna like breeze anymore let me know in the comments